Hello friends, welcome once again to our CK Editor tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how we can upload our image onto our server using uh, our CK Editor that we previously implemented in our video. So today we are going to go through step by step on how we can uh, upload our image onto the server. So we'll have to create our server in our project directory and our project directory is this one and also initialize our server with package.json but for us to be able to do that uh, we need to organize for us not to have multiple uh, files all over the place so I went ahead and moved these files which were previously in the main directory and then I created a, a folder called client and moved all these files. Package.json file is a manifest file which contains all the application info and these include the name of the application the version of the application, the description of the application, and the dependencies that the application uses. Okay, that having said, we have to know that node modules are installed as dependencies. So if we install any node package in React.js is installed as a dependence. So that having said, now we will go ahead and first create our package.json file. And we'll do so by running npm in it. And then you click enter. Uh, and this command will run and then uh, bring you an, some options which we need to fill in. Uh, for example, there is a package name and uh, this is the default which is in the bracket we can leave it to that and the version is that in the bracket we don't need to change the version of the application uh, the description we may give it like uh, a ck editor tutorials and then click enter and uh, our entry point is the main uh, javascript file for node.js so our, uh, our entry point to our server will be service.js file. Go ahead and send. then you can skip that, skip that, skip that. Author, you can put me, put code, uh, code axin can put your 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 favorite then license i'll leave it to that and click enter and then yes so after that the command will create for us our package.json so when we go to our project uh, folder we can see that we have our package.json file created so if we navigate into this project, remember, you see now, this, uh, this, is, this is what we selected as application name, the version, the description, then the main file, which is uh, the, our entry point to this uh, uh, application will be the server.js file, is the one that we are going to run for us, uh, to execute for us to be able to run uh, our server. And uh, we have the author, which is this one, and also the license. Uh, so go ahead and write some scripts here, as we'll see in the course of the video. So we can go, uh, we can go ahead then and uh, uh, create our service .js file. And then uh, before we even do that, we'll use command which is touch. Uh, this is uh, node.js uh, command, command which helps us to create files in 
node.js touch service.js file and then this command will create for us our uh, service so after creating that we can now run our service by simply go into our json package Uh, then we can go here and then just say node So for us to run this node uh, JS file We have to specify the command which is node then the server file which will be service.js We get a message which is printed here that our first server project But there is another way where we can now define our scripts and say uh, start and then our script will run is the one which will run for us this command which is node.js and then if we go back and say npm uh, start uh, you see it has run and started so in this video we are going to be installing different packages and uh, one of our packages that we are going to install is express express is a flexible node.js uh, web application framework that provides us with a set of features to develop web and mobile application by doing so it allows us to set up middlewares that can respond to any HTTP requests and also defines a routing table which is used to perform different actions based on an HTTP methods as we are going to see in the course of the video. Routing refers to how applications respond to a client request based on a particular endpoint. npm install uh, express then we are going to install body parser node mount then we'll have connect mount pattern then we'll have morgan click enter and then this command will run and install all these packages for us and in here we'll say const and x uh, express chiriko require and then here we'll have express and then we'll have a uh, body parser chiriko to require body parser And then we'll define our app, which will be Express. Before we go ahead, let's first understand what we have done here. Uh, remember, we run a command which installed uh, different packages in our application. Uh, we installed Express and uh, Bodybuster is a Node.js middleware that is responsible for handling JSON, uh, raw text, and URL endpoints. Morgan is a Node.js log package. Okay, create our port. Port will equal to process. Let's give our port 800. So having defined that, we'll go ahead and then say app. So we'll have we'll go ahead and then we'll go ahead and use our body parser by and 
and then we have app dot uh, use body parser dot json app dot If there is a successful response, then the status will be uh, 200. Save and then let's run our application once again. So we'll say node service.js. Good, so our server has started at this port. So when we go back to our browser and then uh, inspect that, say uh, localhost, port 800, 8000, sorry. So on port 8000 that we have set on our server, we, are, we have successfully uh, started our server and uh, this is the object that we have sent uh, to our uh, endpoint. So, Express allows us to set up middlewares that can uh, respond to any HTTP requests. By doing so, uh, remember we have a body parser here. is a Node.js middleware for handling any JSON or raw text and URL endpoints. So, for us to be able to access any body request in a JSON format, we'll need to set up body pass into our application. Express uh, also defines routing table based on NHTTP methods. Uh, we have the get, the post, delete, update, uh, and all these are uh, HTTP methods so that having said in our project directory and create a folder and this folder we are going to call it images so for us to be able to upload images from our ck editor uh, form onto our server we need to use uh, a middleware which is known as connect multi-party which will enable us to communicate with our server and upload files onto it okay we'll go ahead and say malt so after that we say define uh, malt upload directory and our upload directory is going to be dot uh, images folder so this one is the middleware that enables us to upload files onto our server uh, having defined that we'll go ahead and create a post method that is going to send our files onto the server So this one will print out a JSON uh, response. Okay, save. And then let's go into our form. Then components, contact form. And inside here where we have a CK editor, we'll create a config. We'll pass in a config. And this config will equal to an object of object. And this one will pass in a CK finder. And this one will have an object which will be upload URL will be uh, slash uh, uploads. Upload actually. Is it uploads? Let's check. Yeah, so let's put uploads. So we'll listen to this. Uh, 
remember that uh, this uh, application we moved our application into a folder called client so okay now uh, for us to run our server and our application at the same time a package called concurrently is a package which enables us to run application simultaneously and then this one will launch our application so uh, we'll put a comma there so for us to be able to run this command and also run this command uh, firstly we'll start by node uh, run uh, ck editor uh, let's go into our application and then try to upload uh, any image good so let's let's select that let's select that then you see our image has been successfully inserted if we navigate if we inspect this we have an object which is being um, which is being sent so let's go into our image folder uh, reveal uh, if we go to images we have our image right there which is being inserted our terminal you see we have a response which is being uh, printed out so in this video we have been uh, we have successfully uploaded our image onto the server using as uh, uh, using a CK finder and uh, also using connect multiparty for Node.js to be able to upload an, an image onto our server. So if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also like and subscribe to my channel. So see you in my next video. Bye bye.